My first sled. She was a beauty. I was pretty dapper myself. I put a lot of miles on that baby. Somewhere around the 17th century, I ran out of cargo space. I moved up to a newer model. Well, that's when I met Mrs. Claus. Oh, what a cutie. We were married and only a century later blessed with triplets, Roy, Daryl, and Mel. Mel's the little one. Of course, the boys always shared everything, fair and square. I taught them how to fish to make a good snowball and how to slide down a chimney without burning your keister. Being Santa was a big job and I wasn't getting any younger, but I had my sons the best kept secret at the North Pole. Here, Busby! Uh, yes, Roy? Give me a hand, will you? Unlike some people, I know there's work to do around here. Now, those are the girls who want dolls with red hair. 57,468, not counting Cindy Mustbaum, who wants red hair but with blue streaks. She's in the oddball pile here. There's 23,409 of those, and those are the girls who want scooters. 32,111. Okay. If we cross-reference those with the girls in this pile who requested princess costumes but did not ask for nutcrackers, hardly anybody does anymore, we should be able to develop a statistical model to predict next year's toy requests from all the girls with blue eyes in the Western Hemisphere. That's very exciting. Numbers, by be mastering the numbers is the key to being a good Santa. Look out for oh, how am I supposed to work with all these distractions? Will you please tell them to keep it down? Roy wants you to keep it down. Oh, I'll keep it way down. <laughs> Why the long face, pal? Well, it's just that Christmas Eve is tomorrow. Aren't you guys supposed to be loading the sleigh? Busby, Busby, Busby. Everybody's been working hard, and I think it's time to celebrate. But wouldn't it be better to load this sleigh first? You know what makes a good Santa, Busby? You have to be able to connect <clears throat> with people, and I can do that because I'm a people person. But we're elves. And I'm an elf person, too. That's why Dad is going to pick me to be the next Santa tonight. So stop worrying, because from now on, we are going to party! Party, buddy! Party! He wants to have the office party before they load the sleigh? <sighs> I can hardly believe they're my son, Snorkel. 150 years old, and not one of them seems to have what it takes to be Santa. Oh, I feel terrible, sir. I've done everything I can to train them, and I know you promised Mrs. Claus you'd retire after this year. Tomorrow night was supposed to be my last run, showing one of the boys the ropes. You know, sir, maybe I should take over for you this year. Just temporarily, of course, until the boys are up to speed. 
As head elf, I'm familiar with all gift requests, flight patterns, and chimney-related safety regulations. <sighs> well, maybe you could take over. Just temporarily. Yes. <laughs> but I'll have to sell Mrs. Claus on the idea. She always believes in those boys no matter what. As do I, of course. Oh, of course, sir. But this way, you and the missus could retire tomorrow and leave everything to me from here on in. I'm sure I'd have one of the boys up to speed by mm, next year. You're a good man, Snorkel. I'll talk to her. Busby, meet me in my room. <laughs> Where is Busby? Santa's gonna talk the old bag into making me the next Santa Claus. Oh, decades of hard work have finally paid off. By carefully preventing Santa's sons from ever learning anything useful, I've succeeded in making them totally unfit to take over for their father. <laughs> Give me that suit. <laughs> but you did it all for the good of Christmas, sir. Hmm? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, Busby, I've had a vision. A vision of an efficient, modern workshop. Computerized assembly lines, turning out standardized toys. Robot arms moving in graceful harmony instead of all these whining, lazy elves. I will miss the old ways, though. The old ways? You mean Santa and his three twits running the operation into the ground? No, Busby. We are the hope for the future. Now, go start dinner and make it good. It's our victory feast. Of course, once I get things running smoothly, I'll have to move away from this give-it-all-away-for-free business model. I'll introduce small user fees. Nothing big at first, just a dollar or two to be left with the milk and cookies. <laughs> After all, this operation has to start turning a profit sometime. Well, get ready, world, because here comes Snorkel Claws. <laughs> Lose the beard. <laughs> Snorkel? What about the boys? They're just not ready, Bernice. Between you and me, I don't know if they'll ever be ready. They talk about being Santa, but they don't seem to have any idea what Christmas is all about. At least Snorkel will keep the operation running until one of them is ready. If they've lost sight of the big picture, maybe we'll just have to give them some help. Hey, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Dad. Oh, thank you, Snorkel. <clears throat> well, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Your mother and I have discussed which of you should take over for me, and in light of certain concerns we have over your readiness, we've decided to send the three of you on a quest so you can become the Santas you were meant to be. What? A quest? For what? to find the true meaning of Christmas. Mm. Mm. Oh, so where do we find it? Well, I could check out by the reindeer barn. Oh, it might be in the field of snow. Or maybe the other field of snow. Oh. No, no, no. To find it, you boys are going to have to go where Christmas really happens, where the people are. You mean you want us to go to the real world? By what? ourselves? But, but, sir, the next Santa was going to start tomorrow. And he will. The boys will leave in the morning and return by nightfall. Whichever one of you succeeds in the quest will go out with your father. And if none of you succeeds, Snorkel will take over as Santa Claus. Temporarily. Snorkel? How are we going to get to the real world? Well, I think you should walk. Now, Nick, we've been all through this. When I was 150, I walked through the snow to deliver the presents. And that was before global warming. I think they should take the sleigh. What? You see, Snorkel agrees with me. Send them off in the sleigh on the day before Christmas? What if they don't get back by nightfall? The sleigh practically drives itself. Just because I make it look easy doesn't mean anyone can do it. 
the real world is a big place. Not so big that you can't deliver presents to a billion kids every Christmas Eve and make it back in time for a nap before breakfast, eh, sir? Well, I am Santa, after all. All the more reason to have complete confidence in the boys making it back from their quest in plenty of time. After all, they are your sons. <clears throat> well, I, I, I suppose so. But if you boys don't bring my one and only sleigh back by dark, there will be big trouble. Is that understood? Oh, yeah. Sure, Dad. Uh, uh, absolutely. Sure. Uh, that's sure, not Dad. a problem. Sure, uh, absolutely. I can do that. Yeah. We're doomed. Oh, we're doomed. Oh. We're doomed. Oh, we're, we're doomed. doomed. Oh, come on, boys. This is the chance of a lifetime. This will put you over the top. You'll be riding down Santa Claus Lane. But Snorkel, we've never even been to the real world before. We've never even flown in the sleigh. You've all been in the simulator. <laughs> even if we knew what the meaning of Christmas was, where would we look for it? Well, it's obvious. You just could, you could try here, Santa Monica. What's that? Well, it's a city <laughs> with Santa in its name. Clearly a place where they'd have the meaning of Christmas with some uh, spare. Nah. I say we just talk to Mom and Dad in the morning and ask Dad to put off his retirement until we're ready. No, you're ready now. Well, thanks for your faith in us, Snorkel. But I think Mal's right. I say we ask Dad for an extra 143.6 years of training. Why? Oh, that's my lucky number. Well, that is a good reason. It's a good reason, huh, Daryl? I've got to convince them to go on this quest. Uh, but, uh, hold the reindeer. Wouldn't it be a bad thing if they go? What if they actually find the meeting of Christmas? If I can get them into the sleigh tomorrow morning, it won't matter if they find Elvis. Because once they head into the real world, they are never coming back. <laughs> Mom told you I'm her favorite? I didn't want to say anything in front of your brothers this afternoon, but this whole quest thing is just a ruse to make it easier on them when she picks you. It is? But don't I still have to find the meaning of Christmas? No problem. You're the design genius, right? I'll let you in on something. The meaning of Christmas is the perfect toy. Really? But I've been designing toys all my life, and I've never come up with a toy like that. That's because you've been stuck here at the North Pole. We just don't have the materials you need to fulfill your genius. That's true. So they they have all that stuff in Santa Monica? Absolutely. I'm going to be Santa. I'm going to be Santa. <laughs> Shh. Huh? I'm her favorite? That's why I'm letting you in on a secret. The meaning of Christmas is a number. It is? Think about it. What's the perfect number of presents to give? What's the right number of relatives to visit on Christmas Day? The right number of lights to put up in your house? There has to be a single number that solves all that. Yeah, and if I was in the real world, I could gather the data I need by observing real people. How do you read my mind? So all I have to do is cruise down to this Santa Monica place and start a party? Not just any party. The best party ever. That's the problem with the real world. People should feel happy all the time at Christmas, but they don't know how to maximize their fun. And who better to teach them how to party than you? Oh, Snorkel, you are the man, baby! Not a baby, but a man! Baby! Have a nice trip. Christmas is mine. <laughs> They're going to end up in outer space. Oh, they'll do fine, you big fuss pot. I'll bet they'll get back before lunchtime. Ah! Ah! Well, dinner time anyway. Ah! Roy, you read the map. I'll drive. I want to drive. You read the map. I'm more of a big picture person. Let me. Oh, there goes. It's flying. It's a flying map. See what you did? 
You're exceeding the speed limit. I told you to let me drive. City, everyone is maxing out their credit cards to buy gifts for that special someone, that not so special boss. And those hardly know I'm cousins. So don't, don't miss the Christmas sale at Mongoose Toys. during the uh, driving lesson. Uh, well, if you just stopped uh, grabbing the reins every time we came in for a landing. Hey, guys, look what we knocked over. Santa Monica. We're here. Hey, it's a lot bigger than it was on the map. Yep. Well... I guess we better get going if we're gonna get home by dark. Yes, yes. Uh, sh sh should we go together or? Uh... Daryl, how can we go together when we're in the middle of a contest? Whoever wins gets to be Santa. Come on, you were there. Oh, yeah, well, I, I, I guess uh, we better split up then. Uh, yeah. Okay. You think the sleigh will be all right here? I don't think we're going to have to worry about it getting buried in the snow. Probably not. Well, bye then. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye. Bye. Check and see if it has a stereo. Those are some weird dogs. You think they bite? What's going on? Get your hands off! This is private property! <laughs> An alien! And he's got a probe! <laughs> Jeez. Get a little car sick and suddenly you're from Mars. What? Where are you? I'm in uh, Santa Monica. The boys just left. <laughs> Shall I head back? Not yet. We have to play this out. Let Santa think they're on their quest. <laughs> You're always thinking a lot. That's why you'll make a great Santa. Flatter me later. Just hide the sleigh somewhere and keep a low profile. Uh, all right. <laughs> I wonder where they hide things here. Oh, boy. Okay, I need parts for the perfect toy. The perfect toy, the perfect toy. All I need is... ideas. So many different kinds of things. Hey, Yo! Are you Santa? Well, almost. You're shorter than I thought you'd be. I'm taller than you. Well, I'm on a Malibu Cindy for Christmas. It's the best. Wait a second. Star Maker action figures are the best toys. I want ten of them. Ugh! 
I want the Junior Jeep Spicer Science. I want the motorized scooter with optional diesel conversion. No, is the best toy. Red hair heading left. Uh huh, uh huh, yep. Okay, brown hair going right. That makes 23. Hmm. Ooh, two blondes going left. That makes 47. Interesting. Many more blondes than statistically predicted. Another brown hair going left. Hey, what are you doing up here? Oh, well. oh, 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 oh. oh um, 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 counting which children are walking in which direction. Yeah? What for? Well, you see, um, I'm trying to build a statistical model of migration patterns as part Who of my... Who told you you could come up on my roof? Well, nobody actually, but you see, I, I, I didn't realize it was your roof. Well, it is. Now get off it. Um, can, can I ask... Uh, are you between the ages of four and ten? Why? I've never met an actual child before. Are you a fairly typical specimen? I'm not ordinary. Oh. How many ornaments do you typically hang on your tree? How come you're wearing a Santa suit? We asked Mom to make a suit so we look like Dad. You think you're Santa's son? One of them. We're triplets. Yeah? Well, then I got some questions to ask you. Oh. Come on. Hi. You haven't seen the meaning of Christmas, have you? Huh? Why the long face? I'm getting old. It happens. You don't understand. I'm a filmmaker. A what? I was a boy genius. I started making music videos at eight for a boy band. Made my first movie at 11. Now I'm 13, and everyone wants a nine-year-old. Wow, I guess I'm a late bloomer. Tonight's my last shot. Dad gave me a slot on his network before the evening news. He'll air whatever I give him, but I haven't got any ideas. Well, you can help me put on my party. What? I'm supposed to put on the perfect party. Wait, I'm getting something. A loner walks up the beach dressed like Santa. He's come to terms with his weight problem, and now he only seeks the perfect party. What weight problem? It's beautiful! A parable about Christmas, but mixing in despair, apathy, rootlessness. Well, I was hoping for eggnog. Let's do it! Let's put on your party! Samantha Kane, finger paints. Check. Nanook no wiki soccer ball. Check. Sheer insanity. Uh, I don't have him. I can't believe I gave those boys the sleigh. They'll never make it back in time. There, there, sir. We still have ooh, six hours before complete utter world shattering disaster. Not that there's anything to worry about. Let's see. The perfect toy should be educational, windable, spinnable, throwable, and unbreakable. It should have no parts that can be swallowed by small children, should transform into several different creatures, and hook easily into a variety of gaming platforms. It should promote harmony and social skills, should bounce, play music, respond to vocal commands, and come in a variety of attractive colors. Where am I going to get the parts to build something like that? You all right, buddy? Huh? Hey, where'd you get all that great stuff? Huh, this? <laughs> well, you have to know where to look. <laughs> but I know where you can get some of your own. <laughs> My name's Bert. Mel. Yeah. So this is your room? I gotta share my room with my two sisters, so I spend my time in here, or on the roof. What's the matter? You don't like your sisters? They're little. They get in the way. I wanted to be an only child. Two sisters unlike. Why do you keep writing stuff down? Cause I'm gathering data. You're some kind of scientist? 
I thought you said you were Santa. I'm going to be Santa. But I have to find the meaning of Christmas first. Oh, I could have told you that. It's no. No? Yeah. When Christmas is coming, that means you're going to hear no all the time. Can I have that toy on TV? No. Can I play computer games instead of going to church? No. Can I put my sisters in the laundry hamper when I open my presents? No, 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 no. So, how many snowmen do you build each year? That's it? That's all you got to say about my problems? Listen, are there other children around who can answer my questions? Oh, so you don't like me. I didn't say that. I'm not stupid, you know. Well, school's out, but yeah, I know I could find you some kids. But if I take you, you gotta promise to give my list right to your dad. All right. Pinky swear? Huh? <sighs> Weren't you ever a kid? Yeah! <laughs> and we'll need plenty of wreaths, of course, and holly and mistletoe. Yeah, Daryl, well, I want you to meet Polly Peterson. How are ya? Hi. She's gonna be your love interest. I'm the girl you fall in love with. Really? Wow! <laughs> How about that? <laughs> when do I get my script? No script. This is improv. Reality TV. Get the cameras in here. Let's get this party going. Hey, we're gonna take pictures. <laughs> Sure, my profile is quite low enough. Bernice, where's my good hat with the fluffy puffball? On the shelf, dear. Hmm. And in Jamaica, they have some excellent condos. Oh, right on the beach. Well, I can't wear this belt. It, it keeps my belly from shaking like a bowl full of jelly when what? I laugh. Try the one in your drawer, dear. Oh, I don't Nick, God. will you please I calm down? Why don't you watch a little trout fishing on the satellite dish Snorkel gave you last Christmas? Oh, all right. Oh, new fangled thing. Oh, Nick, look at this one. A timeshare hut in Tibet, and it gets up to freezing <gasps> temperatures in the summer. Well, I can't think about retirement right now, Bernice. I've got a billion presents sitting on the loading dock. Oh, darn it. Snorkel, there's something wrong with the dish. Snorkel? Hey, guys. This is Mel. He's gonna be the next Santa Claus. Y you know, that's an amazing coincidence, because Frank here is going to be the next king of France. Bonjour. Uh, congratulations? So where's all the stuff? <clears throat> wow. Trains that you've received. Uh, excuse me. Can you tell me how old you were when you got your first doll? Can you grade last year's presents on a scale of one to ten? Look at this. Santa's playing with the baby. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I estimate their median age as 7.9 years. Oh, a smart Santa! Yeah. It's okay, Garth. He's just a little, you know? Well, then he won't mind if I take his hat. <laughs> <laughs> you had better be careful, or I will put you on the naughty list. Shouldn't have said that. Get him, get him! Oh, 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 oh. And action!
direction. Okay, now turn to the person next to you and look into their eyes until you see the awe and wonder of Christmas. Cut! <gasps> huh? Look, Daryl, I don't know what parties are like where you come from, but this one needs a little danger. Danger? We need to take some risks. I could do the limbo. Look, does it have to be about Christmas? But what about the joy, the celebration, the simple magic of looking up at the sparkling lights on the tree? <gasps> All right, here it is. You loved him once, but you see now he's stuck in being a child, obsessed with Christmas, unable to grow up and see the world for the harsh, cruel place that it is. So you're dumping him. Run with it. In three, three. Ah! No! No! Ow! Come on! Prancer! It's only for a little while! Come on! Give in! Ah! Huh? Uh, so, like, how do you want to pay for your locker? Uh, uh, d do you take candy canes? Dude, I love those. Perfect toy, huh? Hmm, I wish I'd known about that a few years ago. Why? Are you a designer? Nah. But I used to be a grandpa. Really? You don't look a day over 200. Oh, thanks. What do you mean, used to be? It's a long story. Let's just say they don't come over to my house for Christmas dinner anymore. Well, Bird. This is going to solve all your gift-giving problems. That's really something, kid. <laughs> Wait, I still have to turn it on. This is why I'm going to be the next... Well, child is much more complicated than I thought. Oh, I don't know why I ever thought a number could solve everything. Me neither. Life stinks. Here's my list. Why are you so stuck on numbers anyway? I don't know. I guess it's just the way I think about things. Like, like now, all I can think about is that I have one mom and one dad and two brothers and how my mom gave us each one music box last Christmas, and each box played one song, and mine was the 12 Days of Christmas because she knows that's my favorite, and how my mom gives me an average of 4.3 hugs a day, and my dad and I lose 8.2 balls every time we play golf in the snow, and my brothers and I stay up too late 2.1 times a week, and we laugh 37.9 times each before we fall asleep. And, and on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is missing them all very, very much and wishing I were home, then I would say that I'm an 11, maybe even 11.5. I'm sorry I got you in trouble. I'll give you a list to my dad. But I don't understand. I mean, where's everybody going? We haven't even got the party started yet. Don't you see, Daryl? The party's over. It's time to put away childish things. But childish things are fun. No, it can never work. Christmas is a lovely dream, but I'm no dreamer. So you're going to have to go be the dreamer that dreamed his own dream in his own dreamy way on the street of broken dreams. Goodbye. Yeah, but... Cut! Strike the set! That was brilliant. Heartbreaking yet satirical. Earnest yet mocking. I gotta get to editing. Later!
Mal, what are you doing up there? I can't find the sleigh. Maybe Daryl took it. Hey, it wasn't me. Well, where is it then? I don't know. I was looking for the meaning of Christmas. Did you find it? Oh, well, you know, a little. Not exactly. No. You? No. W what about you, Mel? You find any meaning? Sure. It's right here in my pocket. Whoops. Must have fallen out. No, I didn't find the meaning. So if none of us found it, what do we do now? Well, I guess we'll have to go home and... And tell mom and dad. And how do we do that with no sleigh? Well, now don't get mad at me. I didn't lose it. But who should I get mad at? I want to get mad at someone. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Busby, have you hidden the sleigh? Yeah, but it, it, it's going to be dark soon. Uh, when do you want me to head back? January. In, what? It's a disaster, Busby. I've worked my fingers to the bone today, but I just haven't been able to convince Santa and Mrs. Claude to give up on those boys. I think this will do the trick, though. Uh, but, but with no sleigh, Santa can't deliver the presents. Sure, some kids will be unhappy this year, but once Santa's reputation is ruined, it'll be easy to do a hostile takeover and rebuild the organization from the ground up with me in charge. So get a nice hotel room, order room service, and I'll call you in a week or so. Oh, and Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh! For it. I mean, how many places could it be, realistically? Six million, maybe seven. Will you stop with the numbers? I'm just trying to be helpful. Oh, dear, look at that. Six o'clock already. Guess the boys aren't coming back. Don't tell me you've given up on them. I know it's hard, but I think we just have to face it. Christmas is ruined. He's right, Bernice. Something's wrong. I'm going to go after them. What? I mean, uh, they've got the only sleigh. Nah, they've just got the new one. Huh? Come on, Bernice. But, but, but you see, she... she was my first sleigh. Put 17 billion miles on her in only 300 years, and she never gave me a lick of trouble. But even if that old crate held together, what's gonna pull it? Uh, the boys have all the reindeer. Not all of them. You're not thinking of using Gert. She's ancient. She can only see out of one eye. Oh, the boys have some magic pets we can probably add on, and Gert will only have to pull me. No presents. I'm going with you. Uh, Bernice, if you go, who's going to watch the store? Oh, hey, I can certainly keep an eye on things. See? Well, all right. Let's go wake up, Gert. So we'll just get one of these people to give us a ride. You think somebody's going to give us a ride to the North Pole? Do you have any idea how far that is? 3,738. I'm warning you, Roy. On Gert, on Toothy, on Furry and Fuzzy, on Finny, on Fishy, on Pelican. <laughs> Well, at least they're waving back. That's because they think we're three goofs in Santa suits. Well, if we get a ride, who's telling Dad we lost the sleigh? I say we draw icicles. You always melt mine, so I have the short one. Do not. Do so. Do not. Do so. Do not. Do so. Ho, ho, ho. It's Dad. Yeah. It really is Dad. We're safe. I don't understand it. She never gave me a lick of trouble. We're sorry we didn't come back, but uh, we uh, had some trouble. Did something happen to you? Actually, it's about the sleigh. You didn't scratch it, did you? No. Uh, we lost it. You lost it? Not on purpose. It was right here when we left. <sighs> I 
can't believe it. Without the sleigh, we can't get back to the North Pole. We're sorry, Dad. Really sorry. Really, really sorry. After all these years, no presents. I'm going to let all those kids down. It's not your fault, dear. It's not anyone's fault. We all did what we thought was best. So how did you boys do on your quest? Let's just say losing the sleigh was the high point of our day. Well, on the bright side, we'll all be together on Christmas Eve. Mm. Someone seems to have the Christmas spirit. Wow, I guess Snorkel was right. Santa Monica does have Christmas spirit to spare. Uh, yeah? We were watching the stuff about the alien invasion, and then we changed the channel and saw your TV special. It totally changed our lives. Yeah, totally. It did? Especially the part about looking in somebody's eyes yeah. and seeing the magic of Christmas. That's so romantic. And then, when they took apart the set at the end, and you just stood there looking sad. It was totally about how we don't need a lot of stuff to have a great time. Totally. We just need, like, the joy in our hearts. We gotta go now. We're going caroling. <laughs> well, I do have the body. Mel, <laughs> I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. Mom, Dad, this is Bert, and these are my brothers. Oh, <laughs> you got a fine boy, mister. Thinks he's Santa, but I can see where he gets it. <laughs> oh, hey, since you're here, Merry Christmas. Um, thanks. What are they? Perfect Christmas toys. <laughs> Me and the boys started making them after you left. Oh, we've been giving them out all over town. Oh, that's great. What do they do? It isn't what they do that makes them perfect. It's the fact that we made them ourselves. Leastwise, that's what my granddaughter told me about the one I gave her. Hi. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Gotta go. Glad I found you. You got my list? Uh, yeah, well, about the whole present thing. Mm -mm, forget it. I thought about what you said, you know, about counting your blessings. I don't need this stuff. Counting your blessings? You know, one mom, two brothers, three hugs. You were right. I'm even going to share them with my sisters this Christmas. And we don't even have to go in the laundry hamper. And I hope you don't mind, but I sent emails to all my friends about what you said. And they're sending to all their friends. Anyway, you can hang out on my roof whenever you want. <laughs> Peace. Well, Nick, it looks like all of them found the meaning of Christmas. What are you talking about? I didn't build the perfect toy. I didn't find the perfect number. My party wasn't even a real party. <laughs> Boys, the meaning of Christmas is in here. You mean we ate it? <laughs> <laughs> she means it's inside you, and you spread it to all these people. So it's contagious? <laughs> Very. We still ruined Christmas, though. Yeah, they're all happy tonight, but there won't be any presents tomorrow. Maybe we should do something about that. Busby, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I thought I was trying to save Christmas, but it turns out I was just codependently enabling the needs of a dysfunctional hero icon on whom I'd projected my own desire for dominant attributes. Sorry, I, I've been listening to talk radio. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> so long, Santa dudes. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Bye, thanks for all your help. I hear they're hiring in the oil fields down in Alaska. Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> Hello? Busby. Good news. I've arranged it so the whole Claus family is out of commission. I 
this is for the elves, which will free up capital for the new assembly line. <laughs> anyway, I need you to get back here with the sleigh right away. Will do, boss. What are you doing here? You had direct orders to stay in the real world until I called you. Well, put on your snowshoes and start walking because you are fired. Are you sure you're not part troll, Snorkel? <laughs> Sir, I'm so glad you found Busby. Well, when I realized the little troublemaker had stolen the sleigh, and What's that for? Oh, I want you to shovel the walk. The walk? We have a walk? Where does it end? Greenland. And when you're done with that, you'll report back to your new boss, Busby. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 time to load the sleigh, boss? But leave room for four. My boys are going with me. What? Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, we're 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 From now on, this operation is Santa and Sons. Bernice, I guess I'm just not ready to retire after all. <sighs> leave room for five, Busby, so we can all be together on Christmas. Yay! Yay! Hooray! All right, boys, try this now. Ho, ho, ho! Yes, well, we'll have to work on that. 